back again to the Ford pickup truck. It is a warm, I'd say in the upper 50s today. So we're gonna do an adjustment on our carburetor. We'll make a video for you guys here how to adjust your Ford Motorcraft two barrel carburetor, which is a pretty good overall theory for how to adjust most carburetors, um, except for the ones that have the intake manifold heated choke. But anyway, I have to get the car cover off. I kind of half-assed a car cover here for the bed for the main thing so it doesn't get moisture in the bed and keep moisture there. It's got some on the cab. Uh, keep moisture off the cab and then the hood's kind of, eh, I didn't have enough car cover to put on there. But I will later on. Um, this is just a temporary cover. Uh, later on when I get a chance to find one, I'll probably find one at Walmart or something cheap and get one for this truck. A good one though. So anyway, uh, let's see if this old truck's going to start. Um, first step is to adjust the Ford carburetor, any carburetor for that matter. have to get in the truck first, but we have to let the motor start up and run uh, for a good time. Let the oil heat up and let everything else heat up. Let the choke crack open, everything on the carburetor. So to uh, Jeremy 350, it's spelled J-E-R-M-E-Y -J -E 350. He requested me a little while back to see carburetor linkages, how they work, and stuff like that to show them on the Ford truck here. So let's um, see if I can find a spot on this to put it, put underneath here to see how it works. Uh, and looks like the only way I'm going to be able to do that is to take that big air cleaner off to see how it's going to work. Before I do that, let's take a look at what this uh, truck has for the air cleaner because this was unique in itself to keep in heat. That right there, this is the air intake. This is where you get all your air from the outside. They go straight into here. This is where people mount ram air systems off the side here. Anyway, that speaking, this truck has um, a little flange here that connects from the manifold, the intake manifold. And this is where you get your heat. This is where some of the heat comes in. On the inside of that, there's a spring-loaded system that uses, it's a heat spring basically is what it is. It'll let hot air in and keep it closed when there's cold air. Most of the time they work, most of the time they don't. Just depends. This one's original, nothing been tampered with it. On the newer Ford, what would be a 76 or a 79 Ford truck, they have the same system set up here. But on the side they have a vacuum modulator or module that connects and uses engine vacuum to crack that little vent open. So that's that part right there. That little tube pipette from Ford, to me it's the first form of emissions. Um, from what I was told this system down here goes to this little canister. And what this canister does is take that little rubber hose right here this goes directly to the exhaust or to the gas tank and it recirculates um, gas tank so to say vapor into the carburetor and shoots it up into the carburetor to burn it hoping that they'd burn it so that's kind of like the first emission system that I've seen so that's on that side on the back there you have the um, PCV valve which goes to the carburetor Gets the vacuum from there. On this side of the thing, of the air cleaner, you have the valve cover with um, the oil cap. And what this goes to, that tube goes also to the air box, the air cleaner here. In that air cleaner, there's a special fitting that's um, an oil breather, basically. There's another filter in there. It lets uh, air get in through the oil passage that way. So we'll take this off, we'll take everything off here, so you can see how linkages work. Here's that oil breather I was telling you about. There's a filter on the inside there. This one's kind of dirty, it's all original. But we do clean it out with um, kind of cheap what we use about this. Oh, oops, dropped it on the ground. <laughs> but anyway, it get dirtier, but um, we use gasoline to clean these things off. And then we let them air out extensively before we put them back on the truck. So there's no fear of um, uh, vapor of gas in there. So anyway, here is a Ford Motorcraft two-barrel carburetor. Very common on a lot of Ford vehicles. Um, there's an interesting point I want to point out. There, from the heater hose, 
we have the heater um, hoses that connect to this T fitting on the intake manifold and what that does and it sends uh, coolant to underneath the carburetor in theory what this is supposed to do and which it does a pretty good job of it it keeps the bottom of the carburetor from icing up in winter conditions really harsh winter conditions um, sometimes you take these things off these motors will run extremely cold and very cold so and I'm keeping this one on temporary until you get the four barrel carburetor and all that good stuff then it'll probably be taken off and then we'll see how cold this motor will run but anyway for J Jeremy 350 that's the linkage system right there on this carburetor as you can see there is one for the accelerator which would be let me see if I can find it it would be this one right here this is the accelerator that goes to my accelerator pedal this is the transmission kick down cable which is not a cable it's basically a tube a transmission kick down tube is what it is but um, that's how Ford use theirs for their C6 transmissions on this one very intricate that's the throttle return spring as well just a lot of intricate linkages to make this thing work properly so let's see if I can get a good vision I don't have a tripod with me to uh, film the accelerator linkage working but show you what the brief overview will look like when I crank on this my pedal will go back and forth so you can hear it that'll crack that choke open when I start it but anyway you should have heard the fuel squirting in there through two jets that send it directly through the intake and priming my system for starting so that should be primed enough to start it um, let me see if I can find a good spot to put this down out so everyone can see what a linkage looks like that'll be a good position okay you guys should be able to see it I'm hoping my camera doesn't drop off here see if she starts today five to ten minutes let the fuel and everything circulate get nice and warm so I can adjust the carburetor so it's not running so um, rich and as well um, the idle just kicked down a little bit and the play out is that that maybe 